Well, 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 here we are again, fam. Here we are again with another video. Uh, this is Sharon, of course. This is TC. And this, of course, is Jamal. Yeah. Yeah, well, here we go with another old chick out of control doing what she want to do. Why do women like this belong, TC? In the kitchen, scrubbing the, floor. scrubbing the floors and changing them diapers. Yeah, and don't forget cook, cooking them yeah, meals. Cooking the meals. Well, Jamal, you got anything to say for me? What? The? No, I agree with you. Well, that, that's that's yeah. watch that's watch this thing here. Right, so we, if you can't handle power, you need to be in the kitchen. That's right. You know that floor always need to be scrubbed. Now we got a. What's this? Commissioner out of Florida. Commissioner. Out of Florida again. A black chick, of course. You already knew that. Yeah. Out of control, yeah. wild, banshee. It you always is. Yeah. Every time we turn on YouTube, it's always black folks. And it's and they know they can't handle that, that bottle of Henny, but they keep going for it. They go conquer that bottle. But the, the so far is Zero for for them. Yeah. Henny wins every time. And for our haters, we like to thank you for being a hater because you gotta have a job too. You're not wow. gonna you're not gonna stop us from doing what we do. Uh, <laughs> we got some haters. <laughs> yeah, we always got haters. Every every time we put a video, the higher the levels, the higher the devil. Uh oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, wait no. <coughs> Excuse me, haters keep you on your toes. Is that right? Yeah, you, you need some haters in your life. If, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing something right. Is that right? That's so, right. And what they say, you know you're doing something right in life when you got some haters. What do you think, TC? I mean, even <laughs> G, even Jesus had haters. So why won't we expect common day folks <laughs> like us? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get into the video. By the name of Regina Hill. That she under don't. fire. We're doing something very shady. But before we get into that, Regina Hill has a pretty interesting history in the city of Orlando. At the time, five years ago, she was making $60,000 a month. No, he wrong about no, it's that. It's 60000 a year. Making 60000 a year. Exposed for living in low-income housing. Tonight, News 6 investigates a complaint leveled against Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. Now in the hands of the state attorney's office, the complaint claims Hill lives in a low-income apartment complex even though she makes more than $60,000 mm. a year mm -mm. as a commissioner. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval got a hold of that complaint for us tonight. Eric, what did you find out about this? Well, Matt, we found out that this complaint was actually filed by a family member of one of Regina Hill's biggest political rivals this election season, just a couple days before election. Luana Gelser tells me this isn't about politics, though. She says she is concerned that Orlando residents are not only paying Hill's salary, they may also be helping her pay her rent. Mm. Timberleaf Boulevard is located inside the landing at Timberleaf Apartments, a complex of 240 units for low-income families. Mm. And this is the address Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill put on her forms to run for re-election. According to the complex's owner, the most a resident can make in order to qualify to live there is $39,000 wow. a year, and that's for a four-bedroom apartment. Mm. A complaint filed with the state attorney's office this week asks how Hill is allowed to live there if she's making $60,000 a year as a city commissioner. It asks for an investigation into whether she's renting illegally. The complaint includes a copy of the subsidized lease agreement for the unit she says she lives in. It shows she pays $644 a month in rent. And if you look closely, it's missing Hill's name. She... Tell them. Are you tired of feeling like you're stuck in a phone plan that doesn't meet your needs or is too expensive? Me? She's not on the lease. Instead, there's a notarized letter from another woman, which reads, Hill has resided in the home with her since December of 2015, after her daughter's death. Hi, Ms. Hill. We called Commissioner Hill to ask her if she could help us add all this up. We are um, following a story about a complaint that... Hill interrupted me, saying the complaint was nothing more than a smear campaign. What do you have to say to uh, allegations that you're living in subsidized housing and uh, you make more than 60000 a year? She told me... 
I am working for the residents of Orlando, and that's all I have to say about this. <laughs> then she got drunk one night, passed out. Whoa, oh, he uh, now. Now, if that's not a hood rat move, I don't know what is. That's a hood rat mentality. You going to go to a, a, a apartment for people with low income, and you go get an apartment under somebody else's name. No, the lady's name's still on, but the lady claiming she's her well, that roommate. Woman got, yeah, that know. woman got that apartment for her. Yeah, that woman know. don't live there. That mm. woman got that apartment for her. Mm. I mean, that's hood rat behavior. She's straight out of the hood. Straight out of the hood. Not only did she did that, she got drunk one night out of her mind, and the firefighter tried to help her, and she started getting belligerent. Then he recorded everything. That he didn't make you fight. Now? <laughs> he didn't, he make, didn't you, make you fight. He didn't make you fight for the night. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't mess with that brown stuff. I keep telling y'all, I keep telling you hood rats, leave that brown alone. That brown will knock you down. Brown will knock you down. Make you go another round. Mm. <laughs> See, that's the problem. They keep going another round. <laughs> they keep going another round. <laughs> what you got to say about this, TC? I mean, look at her. Just look at the way she look. Hood rat. City she, girl. She look like, man, I need to get drunk right now. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a shot to hit it right now. <laughs> So, it, it, anybody got some? You know, I'm, 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 yeah. Brown will make you go round for round around the town. Wow. <laughs> he, he got bars over here tonight. Bars. Just, just a little poet. A little, little, little hood poet. Yeah, ghetto poet. <laughs> ghetto poet. <laughs> when you know it. <laughs> oh, wow. Is he on the roll? I'll play some more. Penthouse. She was so belligerent, the fire department had to come in get her. She failed. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, this chick, she got the wig on. She like a different person with the wig on, don't she? Yeah, she does. I mean, really? I mean, this dime, what's that? Braze she got? Braze, yeah. Uh, what? She weaving and sandal a little up. Like, oh, by the way, we got to give a shout-out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. We got this video from him. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Well, she got to live in them low-income apartment and keep getting the hairstyle. I mean, a, a weave costs about $300, don't it? <laughs> I have no clue. You know, a weave costs to go hit you about $300, especially as short as her hair is. And she, she got to live in low-income houses. How'd you go get them wigs and them sandals? <laughs> she has stitches for her hair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shoot. <laughs> It cost by almost half as much as your rent to get your hair did. Hair did, nails did, everything. Toes did. did. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I'll play some more. When the fireman started to record the interaction, she got upset and got this man fired. Well, he got his job back. Let's see what happened. New at 11, an Orlando firefighter gets his job back. Of Joshua course he was. Renata was fired two years ago after recording audio during a medical incident. Now that incident involved Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. Today, a federal mediator ruled Granada should not have lost his job. News six is Eric Sandoval is live in Orlando for us tonight. So, Eric, what is Granada saying about this? Well, first of all, Matt, that federal mediator not only said that he needs to return to the job, he also ordered the city to pay him back pay for the last two years. Now, Granada didn't want to talk about this tonight, but the woman who he was tending to that night, City Commissioner <coughs> Regina Hill, told us that she's very upset. I bet she is. It's almost like a, a double slap in the face. Yeah, well, another way. Commissioner Regina Hill says a federal mediator made the wrong decision today. <coughs> Fire investigators say it was August 2017. When Orlando firefighter Joshua Granada responded to the Doubletree Hotel near Universal Studios, they say he and his colleagues found the commit. My new book, Keyboard Rich, how anyone can earn six figures from home with a simple bookkeeping. The commissioner on the floor of a penthouse suite mm. with empty liquor bottles. On the floor. They say on she the floor. Illiterate. And that's when Granada says he decided to record the audio on his cell phone. Yeah, I wanted to protect all of us on scene from what I heard and what I saw. The city of Orlando terminated Granada. The firefighters union appealed. Now, nearly two years later, a federal mediator has sided with Granada, 
reinstating his employment, ordering the city to pay him back pay mm. minus 240 hours for breaking a department rule that bars any recording during calls. It's okay to break the law and illegally record. Well, you did. A private citizen at the time. You breaking the law? Uh, she yeah. breaking the law? She living in a low income yeah. housing and she she's she not breaking the law? And and then she lying about she was a private citizen. No, you want no private citizen. Just stop it. You, come on, hood rat. You're a private citizen of that henny. Yeah, come on, <laughs> uh, Pukisha. Stop that line. And it also said she had got a facelift. That's a that's the result of the facelift. <laughs> that's a bunch facelift. <laughs> You see that facelift? I would, see it. Would, would you pay to get that? I would. Then she got a facelift. I'm, 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 I'm going to sue. You give me a facelift like that, I'm going to sue. <laughs> the ghetto black Count Dracula. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you botched me up. I think I looked better before I came to you. Uh, and then she got dental surgery under ladies or insurance or something? The old lady. 96-year-old Lady that lived 96 years on this earth and she run into Pukisha. Pukisha here, aka Regina. Uh she took power of attorney over the old lady. She found out the old lady, you know, sitting on the road, and she got power of attorney and started spending the woman's money like it was her <laughs> 96 year old woman. A 96, how can you look at this old, decrepit, crip, keep a woman in the face and take her money like that? Hey, he'd be surprised what people do. I mean, she took her, uh, the old lady's mama house. She got the woman's old lady, the old lady mama's house and used old lady's money to fix it up. And then won't pay rent. <laughs> And then she she bought a house under the woman's name for her son and his girlfriend. It's just not hood rat, man. It's just not Tiffany Henner behavior. <laughs> she looks like an old black ghetto Daffy Duck. I do believe somewhere out there, there's a school for wretched old black women. So and all these black women are going. Somebody tell me where that school is. I want to go. I think I need to sign up for that I school. I need to take some classes because I, I, I'm trying to do things right. And look what I get. I get nothing. <laughs> nothing on nothing? I get nothing from nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. nothing. I get nothing. <laughs> Instead of tricks, I get sticks. <laughs> I want my tricks. Where's my tricks? <laughs> some more. Shoot. Any Commissioner's capacity. I was a private citizen. Hill says this isn't over. I will be looking into this further uh, to see uh, uh, what rights do I still have as a victim? Because victims have. You ain't no victim. You of ain't no course, victim. She didn't want to take any accountability for being a drunk Bia Bia and causing problems. But she's been investigated many times as the city commissioner. That face is a bit tight. Regina Hill is accused of will shock you. I know you don't uh, me. That's the facelift? That's it? She's like, oh, get on sewer rat. No, she just kind of like an owl caught in a windstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Regina, Regina, Bukisha, you need to uh, file a malpractice uh, charges against your facelift doctor because he didn't do no just. Well, I, I plastic. Plastic can only do so much. I mean, he can only do so much. She should have went to Dr. Miami. <laughs> Maybe she should have went to a witch doctor. She probably got better results. What's your thoughts on this, DC? <laughs> I really got too much in it, too much of nothing to say. I mean, well, what, speak on her behavior. Oh, I, we have. We already said it was ratchet and ghetto. And uh, what more? what more can I say? Why can't we get our crap together? Who knows? I mean, people like Pukisha here, she, she putting a dark cloud over everybody. It further instates that black people don't need a position because they don't know how to handle power. And that's what they showing. I mean, you don't think good and well, you can get there do whatever you want to. Show your butt in public. 
And you you and take steal from old people. Take their money, and n- nothing's supposed to happen to you. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Well, that's <laughs> what she did, and that's what she's doing. And and the thing is, I don't understand how to get away with this. Nobody is checking them. Mm. Nobody is stopping them. Now, like I said, there's other races do corruption, but guess who they watching more? Us. And why can't people stop these these ratchet women? They they seem to be unstoppable. And she still got her job. And just like that uh, that uh is she a commissioner or a mayor down there in Louisiana that can't trail. A mayor. They they told her she had to turn over that key. She told them she wasn't turning over nothing. And still got her job. Still got the job. Still got the key to that apartment <laughs> and still sleeping uh, sneaking up there with her bodyguard police uh doing the do. Doing the humpty hump. In, in, in that apartment. Now let's play some more. Let's find out what she did. First though, a 96 year old woman cheated out of thousands of mm. dollars in News Six's uncovered investigators believe Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill may be involved in this. This is News Six at Five. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt. Mm, mm, and mm. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigators believe Regina Hill used that money to treat herself to a facelift, a trip to Miami, and more. Mm. Now, that woman's attorneys are fighting to keep Hill away from her and her money. News Six investigator Eric Sandoval spoke to Commissioner Hill today about the allegations. We found out the Florida Department of Law Enforcement was actually tipped off about this last year by a former aide of Regina Hills who was fired from her job. Mm. They've spent the last year looking into this, and they tell us their investigation isn't over yet. We're looking to the future to see a world that's better, brighter, safer. New Six got a hold of these investigative documents that claim, among other things, Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill fraudulently established power of attorney over a 96-year-old woman. Investigators say that power of attorney allowed her to secure a mortgage in the woman's name Mm. and co-purchase this home in the Lake Man Estates area of Orlando without the woman even knowing about it. Mm. They say Hill then allowed her son and his girlfriend to live in it. They also claim Hill moved into this house about a mile away in the Washington Shores neighborhood that was once owned by the elderly woman's parents. They claim Hill Mm. used the woman's money to renovate the inside and didn't pay rent. Wow. The investigators also claim that Hill used more than $100,000 of the woman's cash and credit cards to purchase things for herself. Wow. Like expensive perfume, clothing, IV vitamins, a facelift. A mm. New Year's Eve trip to Miami, car insurance, and dental surgery. Wow. Now, the woman is fighting back. Her attorneys filed court papers seeking to keep Hill away from the woman's finances and her property. And an Orange County judge approved a temporary injunction last week. Last week. Last week. Last week. That's right. Allegedly, mm. Regina Hill used this money from a 96-year-old woman to get a facelift, what? vitamin infusions, oh. dental... Su- what, mm. what that facelift? Somebody put out what that facelift worked at. I tell you, plastic ain't gonna do so much. <laughs> it can't do magic. No, there, there's no magic in that. You, 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 it's got to work with what it got. I mean, it, it, you came in with nothing, and you, you ain't nothing is what you got. <laughs> she gonna be Daffy Duck's sister. Oh, wow. <laughs> Daffy Duck. <laughs> I, that don't look like Daffy. She, you can tell she took out her daddy. She got a manly face. Don't she look like a man in the face? She got man features. Oh, 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 oh what? I thought we said we weren't going to talk about people no more. Oh, let's get back to the story. Yeah, that's, we ain't going to talk about people Buying no more. Buying a house in the lady's name, perfumes, clothes. You, you know she had to get some sandals. You know she had to get some sandals. <laughs> and then letting her son and his girlfriend <laughs> live in the house. My fear is that that lady that she used was most likely black. Now, no, why am I talking about this? Currently, she is not criminally charged in the connection of the case. But I'm assuming that she will. And my problem is with Regina Hill is why is she still in office? Thank I mean, you. I'm pretty sure there are more people in the black community that would be able to do this job. 
But for whatever reason, Regina Hill and others continue to be able to do whatever they want to do in the government all the time. And it's just ridiculous. How often can you continue to use people? Can you lie? Can you cheat? Do whatever you want without fear of retribution. I what happens all is that the time. people feel like they can just do whatever they want. And you know what? Well, they, they can do whatever yes. they want. It's not that they feel they can't. They can, they can they do because people ain't holding them accountable. Nothing happens to them. I mean, no consequences. Almost so you go, you gonna keep doing what you're doing? I mean, goodness. This well, this is a sick world. You know, this is a sick world we live in. You know, this is off the subject, but I, I when I saw it, I I just had to say something about it. There's a judge in Chicago who ruled that. Illegal immigrants can now buy guns and carry them. Wow. What's that? What kind of world we live in? Uh, it's just, it's just a crazy world. Yes, uh, illegal immigrant can buy a gun and walk around with a gun on it, but he ain't no citizen. There's only two black women that was held accountable. Michelle Owens and what's that uh, other commissioner of Georgia? She she thought she'd go um, get, keep her job. She was drunk. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I can't remember her name. Yeah, they got rid of her. Okay. Yeah. I mean, come on now. This this, this, this doesn't make no sense. This, this is a crazy, upside-down world we live in. You can do whatever or take what you want, do what you want. I mean, and nothing's going to happen to you. I mean, come on now. That's what it seems like to me. I mean, the, let me try to do something like this. These people have no regard for their behavior. I mean, she lying, stealing, cheating, drunk, and she don't care. I mean, you you might get away with it in this lifetime, but you ain't gonna get away with it in the next lifetime. That's true. You know, there is consequences to your be uh, your behavior. If you don't think so, just keep on living, Regina. Mm-hmm. Keep on. Payday is coming. Payday's coming after a while. Well. Like the song, like T Pain said, when he do a song, her face was chopped and screwed. Huh. <laughs> I said, I had to put it in there. Lord have mercy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, Regina, Pukisha, you need to get yourself. I mean, you ain't no spring chicken now. You need to get yourself together. I mean, you. You do drop dead today. You know where where your soul go end up at. You're lying, stealing, cheating, drunkard. You know where you end up at. Well, let's see what else she did. And do whatever they want. And that's something that we don't talk about. And the thing is, is that what's happening in black America with the inability to criticize what's going on, it just makes it worse for the whole entire city. We have so much unaccountability coming from our community Uh that when we have people from our community that come into the public sector or the private sector, at at certain points, they start to do things that don't sometimes make sense. And then what it does, it it, it puts a cast on our community as if everybody is like that. Well, that's not necessarily fair, okay? Because, yes, I get it. Whites can do it too. I get it. Whites can be corrupt. But the thing about it is, is that when you're the city commissioner and you have a high profile and you are looking at getting other African-Americans into your situation, ain't nobody looking at the fact that what the white's doing. They're looking at the fact about what you're doing and why are you having problems? You see, that's how people look at it. Why are you having those problems? You're having those problems. We don't know why. All right. And we all. I know why it's greed. Selfishness. Greed. Yep. It's, it's, it's Greed. Uh, a person sell their soul for for a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. They 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 could care less about the consequences. Greed, just like that show. Come on, American Greed. Yeah. And uh, and people the uh, and and if if you wasn't greedy, you wouldn't get caught up in them scams. That's true. But everybody wants more and more mm-hmm. and more. And you're willing to do whatever you have to do to get it. Take advantage of anybody you have to take advantage of. And it's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Well, until next time, people, there ain't much more we can really say. On well, this. just then. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Comment. Comment. Share. Share. 
Ain't you know that little thumbs up button now? That little, he, he got a little thumb going up. <laughs> They're like, what? You know what to do with that thing. And it don't cost you a thing. It don't cost you a penny. It don't cost a dime. To give me that time. Ooh. Oh, you rhyming now. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey, give okay. me that time so I won't be in a bind. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh get on point. The <laughs> skills take it off of me. But anyway, uh, until we, until next time, people, let, let's get it together. Let's, let's just get it together. It's time to stop this foolishness. This, this foolishness. That's all I can say it is. Get yourself together and be blessed. Try to anyway. Until next time, people, we out. And we welcome all haters to a comment. Oh. Haters make our channel great, too. Wow. We out.